Greetings, 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 greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be with you, isn't it? Today is a Tuesday, almost the end of February, and I just wanted to say it is it's good to be grateful. And every month, every day, every hour, every minute of our life is so valuable. And it doesn't matter where we are, either we are present here on Facebook or we are uh, in an office, at home, no matter where we are, if we can just take this very moment, let's do this together. Let's take a moment and say, I am grateful. As a matter of fact, let's do a pledge. Let's start our day today with a pledge okay put your hand on your heart let's do this together come on put your hand on your heart and say i pledge allegiance to myself to accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before so again, it becomes a pledge that we are doing, a pledge, I pledge allegiance to accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before. And that means it could be whatever it is that we thought about ourselves, the way we talk, the way we have that voice talking to us, our subconscious talking to us, all the positive or negative uh, connotations, messages we hear, the way we criticize and critique ourselves, and the way we do things and pamper ourselves, whatever it is, today, this very moment, we accept and appreciate ourselves far more deeply than ever before. And starting today, Every single day, you can become better and healthier and stronger and more playful, more joyful, because goals and aspirations can become reality. You know, they say dream and dream big because our dreams become a reality. For those of you, hello, Anahid, hello, Ray, hi, Irna. Um, for those of us who know me, and for those of you who do not know me, this is Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist. I have a business called Heal Within, and we're Heal Within. It's the transform where transformation begins. So today's information, inspiration, today's Heal Talk Tuesday is going to be what is our purpose? Last week, we talked about the five languages of love. We went over a few of the languages of love. And today, I want to talk about the language of love that you have towards yourself, not anyone else, but the language of love. So let me start by saying, a week ago, I had a client, and as a clinical hypnotherapist, you know most people don't go to a hypnotherapist until they have been referred to or they've heard a lot about hypnosis, the things that you see on stage. Hypnosis in itself is a altered state of a deep relaxation, a deep state of relaxation. And we go in and out of this state all day long, every day. You see, every time you zoom in or you focus on something and you forget about everything else that surrounds you, you're in that zone state. Hmm? And it could be watching the Oscars. It could be listening to a music because when we listen to a music, what happens? If that music impacts us emotionally, we close our eyes so we can feel it. That closing our eyes to feel it, we're tapping into our emotions. We're tapping into that reservoir deep within us that has stored information about our emotions connecting to certain notes, 
to certain music. And that in itself reminds us of a memory or we connect to a certain person or we feel through that note and music and how it makes us feel. The song itself is not as important, but how we feel it and how it impacts us. That's how certain people like a music. One person likes a certain music, whereas another person says, I don't get it, is because they're not emotionally connected to it. So the language of love, going back to my client, is she came in for weight loss and she has tried everything. I mean, everything. As far as diets, as for exercise, as for getting a coach, she even did this entire cleanse, dropped the weight, gained it back, dropped another weight, gained it back. And this has been going on as a yo-yo, how I call it, a yo-yo, for the longest time. What do we do? Let me make sure that sound system is fine hello chris hi louis um for those of you who are here live thank you for being here and uh, so back to my client when she was referred to hypnotherapy it was i've heard it all i've done it all and what is it that i said to her one day that she said, it's time for me to take care of myself. It is now time for me to go inside and see why do I gain and lose it and gain the weight back. And when she came to me, she was at the brink of tears. You see, it's what we want so much and we do everything and everything and it's like this i want it i want it i want it i will do everything to have this and there is so much energy put into that instead of allowing it to flow when we allow things to happen when we allow things to flow plus knowing deep down inside our heart's desire that little girl the little boy's desire wants and needs then this together happens and becomes a reality but when we're pushing hard fighting against it there is so much fight and trying and energy this hard work goes on instead of allow which is love and acceptance so in a way, I taught her the techniques of we're starting my program. She has signed up for a uh, eight week, 12 week program to be with me to make this a lifestyle change. And in the first session, only in the first session in itself, she realized how she's been putting so much effort and fighting all the why it's not happening and fighting about doing things from the outside doing things for uh, an organization that she belongs to uh, all the work all the children all the uh, school projects and doing exercise three hours a day exercising and exercising and reading all the books but I had not even thought, what do I want? What do I need? What does this person want in life? And she had been giving everything, depleting herself for others to a point that she had no more joy left for herself. And she was wondering why she's got so much layers of protection around her. In a way, she had to give so much for others 
without realizing her subconscious had been protecting her in a way so she does not get hurt. And this is what she found. Only in the first session, I've been keeping myself hidden so I can have enough to give to others. Well, isn't it time we get to value and know that we too matter? Isn't it time for her to start peeling away those layers to validate herself? Because there is no one, and we're talking about languages of love, there is no one more important than first loving ourselves, appreciating ourselves, accepting ourselves. And that is what we did, the pledge. And it's not about becoming selfless or selfish or self-centered, but self-full. Filling up this bucket. So from the fullness and fullness of this bucket, we can give with more joy. We can give with... I'm smelling the roses so that we can appreciate and make life more bountiful, more joyful, playful, happy. When we are happy, everything falls into place, right? And that is what I do with my clients. Every single client is first, accept and appreciate yourself far more deeply than ever before. I boost your confidence and self-esteem so you know you can. That's the first thing. Once we know we can, then the can becomes easier. Then the how becomes unravels and we can see it better. So today, every day, Appreciate and accept yourself. Be grateful and be thankful to every part of you, from your hair, from your eyebrows, from your lips. I know even sitting right here, I can easily find faults if I wanted to. But you know what? Faults means I am not good enough because this is not about me. I come here every week, 12 o'clock sharp. And we do this heel talk, inspiration, information. I'm not here to hypnotize you. Well, maybe I am, right? But what we want is for you to know that the first person who makes the changes happen, either in your life, at work, at home, if you don't value yourself as mother, as wife, as partner, as a lover, and know that no matter how you look, the other person, if there is too, if there is love and appreciation, if you cherish yourself and you know that you have so much worth in this relationship, and if the other person, your partner, does not appreciate your value, then bring it up. Bring your value. Start cherishing yourself. And that makes you beautiful. When you are comfortable in your body, that is the most beautiful thing that there is. And how do I know this? Because when, I mean, even you, you can look back and years and years ago, when we're looking in the 1940s and 50s, even celebrities from Madonna and everywhere else. I know I'm talking to women right now, but long time ago, it was being voluptuous that was so sexy. Marilyn Monroe was the sex symbol, and it was the way she looked, the way she moved. But no one said you have to be size zero to be appreciated and loved, right? She was size 10. By golly, Sophia Loren was never size zero, but it's the way she carried herself. 
And the same goes for men. It's all about how we respect and appreciate and accept our body, the way we move, the way we are. And I always say, cherish the woman in your life and value the man in your life. And it's the same thing within ourselves. There is the masculine and feminine in ourselves. And if we are not appreciating and cherishing this beautiful part of us that is the feminine part of us, and it doesn't matter if we are a man or a woman, we have that within us. And value the masculine part that is the doer, the go-getter, the strong, right? We have it all. One probably dominates another. And there are so many beautiful females that are powerful and strong, go-getters, smart, intelligent, and men who look like macho, and yet they have this teddy bear loving personalities. And they're just caring and compassionate, artistic. We have them all within this one human being within. So expand the best in you and recognize if you want to call the weaknesses within yourself and make those null and void. The voices that negate the things that you do, make them null and void. And that in itself begins the language of self-acceptance and self-appreciation. So, right on, sister. Hello, Anahit. Thank you. Uh, hi, Serojan. How are you? Oh, I want to take a moment and say hello to all. If there is any questions, by all means, give me all the questions. I am right here. I can take a moment and do all the questions and answers. And, you know, I have this book. Sometimes I refer to this beautiful saying, and it says, you are given the gifts of gods. You create your reality according to your beliefs. So what is beliefs? Here's another uh, language I'd like you to, you know, the word BS, right? Uh, so many of us know BS as BS, bullshit, but I like to call BS my way of knowing it, which is called belief system. That's the BS that I also help with my clients for them to recognize their belief system. Where does this belief system that you are this or that, that you can't do this or you can't do that? Let me share something. Years ago, I've been practicing as a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant for 20 years. Every day, I like the work I do more and more. Why? Because now I have honed it down to, it's not a technique that I use it anymore, but I treat my clients and I work and give the best of me, bring all the values to you, to help you, to help you and my clients receive the best. I hold space for my clients. I walk with my clients. I email them, text them, and I am there with my clients in order for them to know that there is someone at every step of the way. So if they want to text me because it's during the session and they have an issue or an email, I will respond to it. So when they sign up for a program to be with me, I walk the walk with them. Now, becoming this knowing your belief system, it started a long time ago. I have a client who came in thinking that his anxiety and stress with all the medications that did not help him, everything that he has done from tests uh, for allergies and everything else, 
not realizing that when he was 14 years old and a doctor said, these allergies are not going to go away and you're probably going to be having a hard time breathing because of the surgeries that they had done on his chest for that uh, upper GI and his heart that long time ago when he was a little baby, they had a heart surgery. And they were sharing this information with his mother and his mother's face. He looked up and saw his mother's face, tears coming down. His belief system became, this is how I'm going to be. Because he saw mom crying as if, oh my God, this is what his life is going to be. And the words of that doctor became a part of this little boy's belief system. So to this day, he was having a hard time. Second session in hypnosis. Guess what? He remembers that fact. And we ask in session, if he could help the younger version of him make that shift. And if he could give a different suggestion to the little boy, what would he say? Right? He gave the best suggestions to the younger version of himself. I can breathe now. We can breathe now. My body can breathe now. It's okay to breathe. Believe it or not, by the end of the session, he was surprised how he could breathe better than a few weeks ago, months ago, and in years. So this BS from a long time ago became a new belief system that he can. And so can you. And that is why I help you heal within where transformation begins by your decision. You choose to become better and healthier, to accept and appreciate yourself far more deeply, and to know that every day in every day, it is the choices that you make. It is the decision that you make to have a new belief system and what you say to yourself and the pledges that you make from this day forward. This is Lisa Bubari. I help you evoke what was, embrace what is, so that you can evolve to what will be. Hmm? You can always contact me and share this information if you believe this information to be valuable for you. This Heal Talk Tuesdays of today and every week you can find us on uh, YouTube. By the way, push the button below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can even sign up on healwithin.com and get our bi-weekly newspaper uh, newsletters <laughs> newspaper i'm not that big to have my own newspaper but one day you never know and with this ladies um make sure that you also sign up register to attend our uh 3E, our seventh annual 3E event. And yes, gentlemen, you can gift this to the women of your life. It is going to be a day dedicated to women, day of inspiration, uh, healing exercises, powerful exercises that is going to happen. I have a panel of speakers I'm going to be interviewing. I will be speaking and even having someone come up on stage, maybe do a full on, maybe transformation right there on stage. We're going to have incredible, incredible uh, surprises happening. And at the end, uh, 
drum circle. It's going to be an amazing day. June 1st at the Castaways in Burbank. So we'll put the link over here, all the information. You don't want to miss it. Register early because early registrations, early bird uh, will end by March 11. And I want to make sure you're all there. If you want to be a sponsor, we've got links for you. But to end this session today, stop, smell the roses, be the best as you can be. And by all means, if there is any comments, I will always answer my comments, respond to you. You can message me privately. And thank you for the three people who had a session um, power mini session with me last Friday. I look forward to be with you next week. And until then, God bless you and may the universal light surround you.